what's going on guys it's totally here back again with another video and in today's video i'm sure you guys had to edit like excel and davinci resolve um so yeah you download your presets all of your uh presets and the light leak that's in the description so yeah make, make sure good to download that all of that in the description it'll just be a google drive link um and yeah so i already have all my clips and item and everything set up here and the velocity i'll show you guys the velocity on one of the clips but i've done everything on already because um i don't want to do it again but i've done it so yeah so i'll first show you guys how to do the velocity on the um the cinematics so basically all you want to do is go one second forward and then oh uh, this is the next step but uh let me just reset it quick real quick um so you just want to go one second forward uh by holding shift in the arrow key and then just hitting it once and it'll be one second and then you, uh, make this 400 percent go to the other end go, go one second add a speed point and change this also to 400 percent and then now you can just drag it to just uh everything so to your liking So yeah, so after you've done all that, uh, it looks really linear, so I'm going to go into your retime controls by right clicking here and clicking retime curve, uh, that's what I meant, uh, also control R to pull up the this thing, the to change the speed, so just press control R, and then it'll pop up, and here you just want to click here, this little dot, um, and then click this little curve thing, and then you can stretch it out all the way. And do that for the same one for the other one. Just stretch it out all the way. And it looks it looks a lot smoother and not as linear. Um, so yeah. And then for the text, you just want to add a fusion composition. So just add a fusion composition and make it the size of the, the cinematic. And you can use any cinematic you want. And so yeah. So now we just want to find where you downloaded all the presets. I have it right here. So just drag it in. It'll be called Excel Text New because it's the newer one he is. And just connect it to the media out. So here it doesn't look displaced at all because you need to add the displacement map. That'll also be in the description. Um, I'll add it after this uh, before the video goes up. So just put in the displacement map and just connect it to the displace node right here. And also make sure to download the font. I'll also leave that in the description box down below. And you can change the name here to whatever you, or not the name, but the text here to like 22. As you can see, the hashtag is messed up because uh, on the this text right here, the font for this one, the hashtag looks really weird. So I used a different text to make that hashtag. So just adjust it by doing this little moving the circle thing or this middle dot here to the right next to where the number is so it looks right and that's pretty much it for the text um i won't be doing the next cinematic because it's just the same process so yeah and next up i'll be showing you the part on the ident so just go to about where your ident goes away so it might mean somewhere around here just split the clip right there and then I want to go to your opacity keyframe right there and at 100 and then go to about when the item starts going out or transitioning out so for me it's just a zoom out so somewhere around here and then i'll make it like 30 35 percent so then it, it's all dark and then it goes away so after you've done that I want to go to the where you keyframed it here and then go to your open open effects tab here and to the Gaussian blur just add in the normal resolve one um and then go to your effects here keyframe it at 0 0.3 and then go to the very end here on where the opacity also fades out and uh actually that's wrong i want to keyframe the blend here sorry my my bad and make it zero at the end 
and you can unconfirm that. So yeah, that's pretty much how to do the add-in part. It's pretty simple. Oh, it's just a blur and op opacity fade. But now this part, you need to get the presets and put it into your power bins. So you just want to open up the project file here. Um, just double click the file or you can, or if it doesn't open with DaVinci, go here, open with, and then go to DaVinci. Um, so yeah, so yeah, that's pretty much it. Or if that doesn't show up, then I think uh, you can press shift one, shift in one, and then go wherever, import project, and then go to where you downloaded it, and then you can open it from there too. So yeah. And I just want to go to that uh, file here and just uh, some presets. So you want to, if the power bins don't show up here, it'll be just right here. Uh, you can go to your um, view and then show power bins right here. Just check it and then drag all these four presets into the master here. And then you can create a new folder or a new bin for your presets. I already have it, so I'm just going to remove, uh, just remove the preset in the bin so that's pretty much it and then it will be pre keyframe and everything so yeah and I just go back to your main project that you want to use it in and now it will show up on your master here and then just go to your excel presets and then just drag it right on so just excel impact uh, it's loading since uh, DaVinci takes time to load for that. Oh, and it crashed. Uh, so let me, I'll see you guys when it doesn't crash. Oh, it'll probably crash for you, so make sure to save your project um, before doing so. And yeah, I'll just see you guys when I'm back on DaVinci. Alright, I'm back after um, DaVinci crashed, but make sure that your playback's at quarter resolution since I think that's why the reason why my DaVinci crashed, but it's completely fine. Just make sure to save your project before uh, you bring in the presets. So just drag it into your DaVinci here. Just like that. And then it'll work just like that. And you have the impact and it's already pre keyed and everything. So you don't have to worry about that. But now onto the velocity. Um, I didn't show you on this clip, I already did it on that clip, but all you want to do is mark, add a speed point on the point where the red or the pellets hit, go uh, six, or 16 to the 16 frames to the left, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, or that's 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, and then add a speed point and go 8 frames now, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Add a speed point there, and then zoom in here. Change the first part to 200%, so just like that. Change the second part to 50%, just like that. And then change the last part, uh, drag it in a bit. Change this to 50%, and then drag it to the end. Oh, drag it to the end, so yeah. And then now you wanna graph it again, so go to your time curve. Uncheck this, go to every time, speed, and then graph it just like this. You can leave that the default amount. This one, you want to drag it out a tiny bit, and this one, you also want to leave it at the default amount. Uh, you can play around with it, but I think that it's like a good base. And then now, there's a beat here, so we can add the Excel B shake. It's not that of a harsh B shake but it's like a blur and then you can add the impact again and then for the same thing here you can just add that there's two B shakes you can add either one they're pretty similar but and then just add the impact and that's pretty much it and then now you all you want to do is add the CC and add the light leak so just drag this all the way over here and then now you have your color correction. Oh, uh, you can put your item over the color correction. This might look weird. So if it does, then put your item over the color correction. And oh look. And this CC looks really nice in my opinion. Uh, especially for 
um, in-game clips and in realistics. So, and yeah, that's pretty, you shouldn't really use it for like mainly like PHE or uh, like Zone Wars since it'll look kind of weird, but for realistics, it'll look, realistics in in-game, it'll look really nice. Um, and now you just want to add your light leak, so just go here and then you can download it. Uh, it'll be in the description down below, so you can just download it wherever. I'll just save it in my downloads for now. But you can just save it and then go to where you downloaded it. And then just drag it over. And then now you want to make the screen mode to um, screen. Just go down and make a screen. And then you can uh, adjust it and then you can delete the parts where you don't want it and stuff like that and you can turn down the opacity and stuff like that and you can just play around with the light leak um, and like trim it down and stuff like that where you want it to trim it down and yeah that's pretty much it you can also change the color by going to your uh, open effects here so you can go for hue set to bright just like drag that on and then you can change it to the color you want like blue or something uh, and then you can see the color has changed um and then you can also change it to anything you want uh, make sure it's on the screen to make it not look weird and yeah, so you can just change it to any color you want here. I just like using the default one. Looks the best in my opinion, but you can adjust it to your liking. And just move it around, play around with it, to make it look nice. And yeah, that's pretty much it. It's a pretty simple and pretty fast tutorial because um, the presets just drag and drop. And that's it for the video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Um, sorry for the lack of uploads. I've just been really busy lately and yeah. Uh, expect more videos in summer and make sure to leave a like and subscribe as it does help help me a lot and comment down any tutorial ideas in the future and that's it for me thank you guys for watching peace